To ensure security and safety of the country, the soldiers face extremely harsh conditions. Our high altitude and personnel of the Army paramilitary forces are trained in high altitude and glaciated terrain. One such school named Hawes trains at least 540 soldiers in a year. Our correspondent Ishan Wani gets us an exclusive tour from the high altitude warfare school in Kashmir. From Galwan and Siachen in Ladakh to line of control in Kashmir. It's important for India's defense to have snow warriors. And where are these snow warriors taught? It's here in Gulmag High Altitude Warfare School. Now, these people are taught the winter warfare during the winter season in Gulmag and the mountain warfare during the summer season around Sonmag area of Kashmir Valley. Now, the key role of Indian Army in not only managing the defense with China, but also earlier the defenses they keep with Pakistan is important in winter and cold conditions. And this is here where, where we are, that these boys are trained, equipped and taught the winter warfare. Let's go inside and find out how do these snow warriors become from an ordinary soldier to the warriors who fight in snow and on mountains. Bone chilling cold and over 10 feet of snow. High up in the Himalayan mountains is the highest battleground on earth. Along the line of control in Kashmir is Siachen, where nature can kill before the enemies. After a 45-minute uphill drive through the picturesque mountains, falls the Indian Army's prestigious high-altitude warfare school. Nested at Kashmir's famous hill station, Gulmarg. This army school was born in 1948 after the Indo-Pak War. Brigadier General K.S. Timaya established this school which started to be known as the 19th Infantry Division Ski School. In 1962, the ski school was upgraded to a Category A training establishment and adopted its current name, HOS, High Altitude Warfare School. Altitude Warfare School is a Category A establishment of Indian Army where the personnel of Indian Army, selected personnel of paramilitary forces and friendly foreign countries are trained in all the aspects of high altitude area, super high altitude area, snowbound and glaciated terrain. Here at High Altitude Warfare, we conduct two series that is Mountain Warfare Series and the Winter Warfare Series. Under the mountain warfare series, we conduct a basic and advanced course. Similarly, for the mountain series, we conduct a basic and winter course, uh, advanced course. Every year, over 200 soldiers go through a nail-biting selection process from different units of the Indian Army and are inducted for a training course in these mountains. Wearing skis, goggles and specialized suits, the soldiers line up to learn skiing with the break of light. Among the first things as part of their training, these Javans have to carry 18 kgs of weight. It's called the battle load. It includes their rifles, the essential items that uh, can be life-saving. And in uh, when, you know, when there is battle, you're alone, you're fighting. So that could be really challenging. So to teach them that skill, they are given 80 kgs of bag uh, with their rifles mounted on it. And they have to climb this slope up and then come down skiing from there. Walking up these mountains at 10,000 feet above sea level with this load can be daunting, but these men have to be battle ready. Uh, if I talk about the winter warfare basic course, the initially when the course arrives in high altitude warfare school, they undergo first the uh, acclimatization stage, then slowly and gradually we teach them how to stand on the skis. And uh, we have a very uh, systematic uh, system, like scientific uh, system of uh, giving them battle load. Initially we give, give them uh, 5 kg, then 10 kg and 15 kg along with their personal weapon. Avalanches are a big enemy in the snowbound areas. Every year, several soldiers get trapped and die under the snow. New equipment like ABDS and ABS avalanche bags have helped lower the casualties. 
if we uh, see the uh, casualty ratio since last past uh, 10 years uh, you will see there is a drastic decrease in the uh, casualties of uh, uh, due to the avalanches uh, this happened because of the latest equipments and technology which we have uh, presently we teach the students here uh, the uh, the advancement uh, advancement in the technology these avalanche ready teams are summoned for the most difficult and daring rescue operations in the snowy Himalayas. Sub-zero temperatures, snow blizzards and thin oxygen. Places like Siachen can be unforgiving even for the fittest. As I brought up earlier, if you see, most of the Indian army is deployed all along the Himalayas. And looking at the present scenario, we can say if in the modern world, if the war has to be conducted, it will be over these mountains only. With a troubling China on the line of actual control and hostile Pakistan on the line of control, officials believe the role of Hawes has become more important in these challenging times. One of the important aspects of uh, winter warfare is walking in snow, which can be five feet, six feet high on the line of control, be it at Siachen or any other place where uh, snow accumulates on the ground. Here are the team of Indian Army men at horse who are demonstrating to us uh, that how hard it is to actually move through the snow. Uh, the two first two pair are wearing no protection on their shoes. They're just wearing normal snowshoes. And uh, after them, you can see there are these men who have uh, some attachments on their shoes and they are walking much more faster. And the third team, which is behind me, has ski attached to their shoes and they are even more faster. These skills are taught to them here at Horse, where they are not only provided the basic training of walking on the snow in mountainous areas, but also they are taught the modern equipments uh, through which they can walk faster when there is a need in mountainous areas. The camera person Pharaohs in Gulma, Gishanwani for Vyond World is One. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.